848 right now with the November ballot measure this year. Colorado is at the forefront of a fierce food fight raging across the nation, whether or not to label foods made with genetically modified organisms or GMs, GMOs. So you can easily see if the food you buy is a product of genetic engineering. Well, many Colorado restaurants are already going GMO free. And Chef Bradford Heap from Salt the Bistro and Colterra is here to explain. Good to see you, Chef. Good morning. Thank Thanks for, for having being me. Here. So why was it important to you to do this? Well, I just felt like the government wasn't doing a great job regulating the GMOs. They've been around for quite a while, but I feel like nobody really knows what they are. And they're two different organisms that in nature wouldn't normally come together. And they've been kind of forced to come together. I think there are a lot of ramifications uh, for Mother Nature, for the breeding of the plants. Um, that makes it a little scary for me. And I think there's, um, just as American, I feel like I'm, I have the right to know what's in my food. And I feel like that's not happening. I think 93% of Americans want to see the label on there. And uh, it's disingenuous when the Pepsi company and Monsanto come on with the ads that say, well, there's too many exemptions, you know, when they crank up the fear, it's going to hurt the farmers. In all actuality, it's going to help everybody if it's just labeled. We don't want to ban the GMOs. We just want to know if we're philosophically against something, you know, can we go ahead and put the label on so I don't have to participate in enriching Monsanto and all the other biotech uh, firms that I feel are really, uh, I think they're a little reckless in, in their uh, technology. So is this difficult to go GMO free in, in your cooking? Um, you know, it is. It's, it's something you have to pay attention to a little bit. I think um, the, the main culprits probably would be the sugar. If you see sugar on a label, you can be guaranteed it's GMO sugar. Any of the fractions of corn. Um, so they take corn and they can break it down into 27 different items that they put in processed foods. So if you're buying processed foods, if it doesn't have the organic label on it, then you're going to probably be putting yourself in harm's way if you want to avoid the GMOs. Uh, it really gets down to going uh, you know, to the market and buying food that's in season and spending some time in the kitchen. And I, I really deeply care about my health, and I've been cooking healthily for about 25 years now because I want to be 85 and keep up with Jennifer on the bumps at Vail. Uh, I know. Yeah. She's yeah, ready to roll. That's where my life is. So. And she would love what you're making here today because you are cooking very seasonally. What are we cooking yeah, up? Yeah, so this is a um, roasted organic butternut squash soup. Really simple. We just uh, take our onions and carrots and sweat them down in a pan until they get tender. And then we have some roasted butternut squash that Ooh, I did yum. earlier today. And we just take and scoop that out, put it in a saucepan, and it comes like this. And then you very simply um, put it in a blender and carefully puree the soup. This is one of my favorites, yum. So we're gonna need a little, I don't have quite the, quite the water I need. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of my soup here. Okay. I'll get this rolling. Sometimes it needs a little encouragement to puree. <laughs> sure. Sometimes those are, oh, come on, baby, you can get in there. There we go, a little Happens spoon. Happens to all of us at home. So, and then the real trick, so once this is pureed, then I've got one that I prepared earlier, and the real trick with this soup is the fact that you have to get the, I've got a little uh, raw sugar. Um, this is the succinate. You can also use the uh, sugar in the raw. Uh huh. Um, but the, the, the real key for this is the um, ability to get the balance between the sugar, the nutmeg, the cream, and the cinnamon. And you kind of have to work at it till it tastes right. And it's one of those things where you just develop your palate and you kind of get used to it. Boy, this soup is so nice on a cold fall day to have this in Chef, your tummy. Like it looks delicious. That's one of my favorite things in the world, squash soup. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. And this is a little nutmeg, nutmeg, nutmeg cream that we can garnish with. Fantastic. And it just backs up that flavor of the nutmeg oh, in yeah. there. Oh, yeah. That's uh, great fall you know, dish. Again, it's just a matter of uh, going to your supermarket and see what season. All this soup, this portion of soup probably costs a dollar. Not expensive. Great to see you. All a right, dollar, my you. gosh. That's yeah. cheap. So uh, you can find that recipe, of course, in the Good Day section of KDVR.com. Doesn't that look good, Kurt? It does look good. I mean, good, good thing that guy doesn't Thank make you. you feel short either. Yeah. He's a little tall. Just, uh, just slightly. That's all right. I Thanks, eat bro. my veggies.